It's been raining a lot and it's been snowing up in the mountains. But there's a way that this water, when it melts as snow and the rain itself, could end up in our backyards. Let's start way down south at Millerton. You see Millerton? That's the name of a reservoir. You can see this river right here coming up there like that. That's the San Joaquin River. But when it gets down here to Millerton, there's a dam and it gets stopped and the river almost dries up. There's a little bit of water coming down now along the river, the San Joaquin. It comes all the way out past here and it flows up. That's just a very little bit of water. It flows and it flows and it gets to the Merced River. Now the Merced River, there's a dam on the Merced River up here called Exchequer. That water is used for irrigation, but also flood control. Right now, they're having to let a lot of water out of Exchequer Dam, and it's coming down the Merced River, as you can see, and it joins that little bitty river that was the San Joaquin, and now it's actually a good-sized river, and it flows north. Now, most rivers don't flow north, but the San Joaquin is the largest no, south to north flowing river on the entire west coast of America. And it flows north until it gets here, continues to flow north, when it reaches the Tuolumne. The Tuolumne is what you've been hearing about in the news. The Tuolumne starts, well, it starts way up here, but it flows down into New Don Pedro Reservoir and it flows in from several regions. Several different forks of rivers flow down into Don Pedro, and the water collects there two million acre feet. An acre foot of water is enough water to cover a football field a foot deep. And it's flowing right now at about 10,000 cubic feet per second out of this dam and through here, all the way down through Waterford, all the way down through Modesto, all the way down until it meets the San Joaquin. 10,000 cubic feet per second. A cubic foot, think of a drop of water the size of a basketball. That's a cubic foot. 10,000 basketballs per second are leaving that dam. That's 10,000 basketballs full of water coming down from Don Pedro into the Tuolumne and finally into the San Joaquin. Now, as it comes down the San Joaquin, it flows on up here and finally it meets, it meets, the, it meets the Stanislaw River, the third major tributary to the San Joaquin. Now, it's smaller than the Tuolumne, but you can see up here that the Stanislaw comes out of the New Malonis Reservoir, which is even bigger than Don Pedro, although it doesn't very often get full. And that water flows down here, past Riverbank, past Escalon, past Ripon, and then down into the San Joaquin. And then it keeps moving north toward the Delta. And that's when it comes right up next to Manteca. Once a few years ago, about 20 years ago, there was so much water in the San Joaquin that they were putting sandbags beneath the 120 overpasses to make sure the water couldn't flow into downtown Manteca. It didn't, but it came close. And now it flows and it flows into the Delta. The Delta is right around Stockton. And right in the Delta is where the San Joaquin River meets the Sacramento River, which is the biggest river in California. It's huge. And when the Sacramento River and the San Joaquin River meet, they form this giant water world called the San Joaquin Sacramento Delta. And that flows out through the Carquina Straits under several bridges until it gets to the ocean.